I got a medal that's over here on the wall. You can go ahead and take a look at that. See that medal right there on the wall? What's going on guys? It's been a minute since I've done a video. Uh, the last video I did was uh, me going to the Fall Classic Karate Tournament. So, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a retrospect video, like looking back on my performance at the tournament and discussing things that have happened since, kind of like an update video. So it's going to be a reflection slash update video of sorts. <laughs> so first off, we're going to go ahead and pop off into the tournament. Uh, the tournament, I felt um, I felt like I underperformed a little bit um, for a couple of different reasons. Uh, first one was it was the first time uh, of me doing continuous sparring, so I wasn't familiar with competing in continuous sparring. I'd done continuous sparring, just not the way that this particular tournament had done. But then again, I felt like that they they, that they weren't all the way keeping track of the rules because they were saying light to minimum contact like you would with point sparring but these people were going balls to the wall all out knocking you know people was coming out of there with broken noses one person got knocked out so uh, there was no light to minimum contact it was all they were all going full contact and uh, you had to have 10 successful kick attempts in order to survive the round if you if the whole three minutes went by and you didn't have 10 successful kick attempts then you were out basically so um, I competed in continuous sparring and it kinda hurt because one I forgot my shin guards so I was competing with no shin guards and plus uh, I got my knee kicked so my knee was jacked up so that was my first event that I did so I didn't really feel like I did all that well in that particular video or that particular event. So luckily between um, continuous sparring and forms, there was a good hour and a half, two hours to let my leg recover, let uh, my shins recover because they took a beating. Um, so I was kind of hesitant on whether or not I was even going to do my form um, because there is a uh, tornado kick involved in my form so I wasn't even sure I was going to do forms but when that time came I practiced it a couple times felt pretty good with it so I went ahead and did the form uh, ended up getting last place um, but still I competed with an injury so I was proud of myself for that there was three people in my division I got third place so I got a medal that's over here on the wall. You can go ahead and take a look at that. See that medal right there on the wall? But anyway. So, uh, after that was point sparring. I didn't, I didn't do point sparring because my, my shins were still hurting pretty bad and fighting again would just prove to make them worse and I have and I had to stand up for a living so not doing that so I went home after forms um, we went to the mall there in Knoxville hung out for a while that was fun uh, met up with my dad later he wasn't able to make it to the tournament like he thought he would he had prior engagements but we met up afterwards and I told him how, how I did and a um, little bit after the tournament I had a, uh, um, I got sick because I competed with no shin guards, um, I ended up getting staph infection, and that made me really, really sick, ended up with, uh, a, a trip to the ER, a couple trips to the ER, one, because, uh, the staph infection ended up in my underarms, and so, went to the ER once to figure out exactly what it was, that's when they told me it was staph infection, they put me on some antibiotics, and it helped a little bit and then after being on antibiotics for a couple of days I got real real sick and I had to go to the ER again which uh, they told me to stay home so uh, 
because of that, because my particular job did not uh, accept doctor's notes or doctor's excuses, um, I had to stay home for a week and therefore lost my job, so I'm currently unemployed right now. But that will not be for very long. It's because I'm, I'm a, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm an ambitious person. Uh, I've been applying for jobs all day long online. Um, haven't really been able to go anywhere and apply in person because I don't really have the gas for it right now. But uh, probably during the weekend, I'll probably go out and do some of that. So, ended up getting sick. Uh, I'm currently still on antibiotics, but uh, it's doing a lot better. I'm 100% me again. I just got to make sure to keep taking my antibiotics just to make sure that it don't that we we kill off the infection and it don't come back. So update videos, updates for what's going on in the world of Braden. Um, well, there is a tournament coming up next month. I still don't know whether or not I'm going to be able to make it to it or not. But uh, things go good. I should be able to do something exciting this weekend. I don't want to mention too much about it. I want it to be a surprise. That's if things go the way I want them to. I will be doing something really exciting this weekend. Um, and also, for those of you who, want, who know, uh, been on my channel for a minute, I've been I've been wanting to do uh, films and movies and stuff for a really long time. And I'm not going to mention too much because I haven't quite signed a disclosure agreement yet. So I don't know what I can and can't say. But a film that I wrote, there's some nice details coming along with that. So be on the lookout for that. I'll keep you guys updated on all that. So, with that being said, that's that's everything that's went on so far. I haven't really done anything excited. I've mainly just been recovering from being sick. So, um, without anything else being said, um, leave me some comments on some videos that you want to see me do, whether it be a martial arts study guide, a karate talk, or um, if you want to see some more vlogs, let me know in the comments down below. If you like what you see, please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And a uh, quick shout out uh, to the homegirl Christine, who's been uh, keeping up with me and, and uh, checking on me throughout my sickness. I appreciate that. And thank you for just being you and uh, keeping me upbeat and everything while I was down. So I appreciate that. Much love. Uh, so just like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.